Nate, the yard, the total price tag for Nets Park will reach a billion dollars, we're told. Uh, that's when you add up the interest paid on the loans the district took out to build the stadium in the first place. Nathan Baca reports those who pushed for Nets Park from the beginning are taking an emotional run around the bases tonight. ANC Commissioner Andy Litsky walks us around the Southwest Washington neighborhood he's called home for decades. For that, we have a new building that's going to be built on the other side of this building. We have a brand new building that opened up on the corner. We have a brand new building that opened up on the corner there. Just blocks away from Nats Park, a mixture of low income housing and new high rise apartment buildings. We were a community of uh, just under 12,000 people. And now in a very short period of time, we have more than doubled. Litsky was at first concerned about a baseball stadium next door, but over the years changed his mind. It was Mayor Tony Williams that took the gamble to bring baseball to D.C., a gamble he says is more than paid off. People forget uh, the baseball commitment won by one vote in the console. This wasn't an overwhelming, uh, you know, display of support. The children, our hospitals, our schools, first, then baseball. 2004 opposition to public funding of Nationals Park nearly stopped efforts to move the Montreal Expos baseball team into the district. I think it's really a story of people like yours truly, Linda Crobb, Jack Evans, uh, Mark Tuohy, just Robert Bob hanging in there, sticking in there, making it happen. The district took out $534 million in bonds, loans to be paid back over 30 years for a mix of ticket, sales, and business taxes. Everything's been going so well, the revenues have more than doubled since 2006, so we're going to pay the bonds off 11 years early. The district's chief financial officer says with interest, the tab will come out higher than $1 billion. So by paying it off early and the economic success of it, we now can do the other things that we need to do with our infrastructure. But sports economist Dennis Coates okay. says public financing of stadiums often just moves tourism dollars from one area to another without creating true growth. The research suggests that it's about a wash, that the value is about equal to the cost that cities incur. As for Litsky, he's happy for Nats Park down the block, but still wishes the district would focus on so getting people into and out of his neighborhood the without beginning. the existing headaches. The transportation issues have not gotten any better, frankly. In Southwest Washington, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.